I'm bringing you guys a tutorial video today on how to record gameplay commentaries using a Mac computer. A lot of my subscribers know that I recently made the switch from doing all my editing on a PC to uh, now using Mac. So, you know what they say, once you go Mac, you never go back. Actually, nobody really says that. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. Uh, part of the reason I made the transition um, was because I always wanted a Mac computer. And I finally saved up for one and made a switch. However, editing on a Mac was a little bit difficult for me at first. Uh, since there really weren't many tutorials up on YouTube for good render settings and how to render videos quickly and efficiently. So a lot of this I learned through trial and error and I'm going to share that with you guys uh, here today. With this video, we're going to be going over how to edit uh, in iMovie. Um, so I'm pulling that up now. If you're worried about editing in Final Cut Pro, I will cover that in a separate video. So first things first. Um, if you're recording from an Elgato game capture or <clears throat> even a Hapage HD PVR, the first thing you're going to need to download is this program right here. Uh, and this is ITV from Elgato. Uh, I believe it's about $70 if you want to download it um, or if you have other ways of acquiring it. No judgment here. <laughs> but anyways, that's what you need. And uh, that program looks like this. Um, It'll pull up the screen here. You can see my Xbox is just going to be sitting on the home screen here. So uh, it pulls up pretty quickly. It works really well. And the nice thing about the ITV program is you don't actually have to hit the record button every time if you don't want to. Um, if you're playing and you get a good gameplay, I think it stores for like an hour or two. So you can just scrub back to uh, you know where you started recording or where you turn your thing on and then record from there or export the clips, all that stuff. Um, so anyways, we'll record just a quick few seconds here um, just move around a little bit just to get some movement on the screen and uh, yeah it should be about good that's a little delayed I don't know why <laughs> anyways it's about a good 18 19 20 second clip um, and we're good so now that we have that you hit command G to pull up the guide Oops pull up the guide. Actually, I already had it open. That's why it won't pull up. There we go. Recordings. Um, this is my latest recording. This can actually be imported directly into iMovie. However, you know, if you have a six, seven minute gameplay, it's going to take 45 to 50 minutes just to, to pull this open into iMovie. And you're going to want to, you know, if you get a good gameplay, you want to jump on and record that thing right away. Add some commentary and upload it as soon as possible. So the thing I've learned that uh, is the best way to export this is scroll down to export and when you export it's uh, you're gonna want to go to QuickTime. It's default on H.264 um, but you know it takes a while like I said for iMovie to import that file and uh, also it actually imports instantly into Final Cut Pro but you'll have some uh, green screen issues and clip clipping problems and things like that so go to QuickTime Movie and then go into Options Settings, not Sound Settings, I don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> Settings on the Video Settings and I turn it down to high quality. Uh, 29.97 frames per second, leave this everything else as is. Um, you can mess with this quality too. Uh, as it is right now, when you export this out, I usually just leave them on my desktop or I put them in a folder of uh, exported gameplay that's ready to be commentated. Um, usually takes up about 800 megabytes to a gigabyte. You can certainly turn this quality down, but uh, I don't know, you know, once you render it, it, it it, the file size comes down anyway, so it doesn't really matter right now. You're going to delete it when you're done either way. So, um, you know, I usually just export it like that, and uh, it'll export. Your average gameplay will take about five minutes, I'd say, to export. So you do have to sit around and wait for a couple minutes, but it's better than, than importing into iMovie and waiting, you know, about 45 to 50 minutes. So uh, this will be done in just about 30 seconds here, and then we'll be ready to, you know, open up iMovie. Uh, when you go to iMovie, right-click over here, import movies, and then you will find uh, wherever you stored your file, find it, and import it. So I already have a couple movies imported, and I don't want to sit here and wait a couple minutes for it to import. So oops, I'm going to go ahead and X out of this. And now that we're into iMovie, I'm going to show you how to pull things in. You have your files uploaded that you're ready to edit with. So here's the uh, Yaosh intro. We'll just select the whole thing. And you simply just drag it up here and drop it on the timeline. So we got the Yaosh intro up there. Oops, I accidentally had it up there already. So don't need it twice, even though uh, 
hearing big snacks go yows is always uh, gets the blood going <laughs> we don't need to hear it twice in a row so um, one thing I really like about editing with iMovie is how how quickly once you have the video importer you can see you know sometimes I have a 10 minute gameplay I only want to commentate for five minutes so I can just real quick scrub through edit out the boring parts or you know if I die a few times in a row which tends to happen <laughs> you just edit it out and uh, find the clips you like okay this looks like a good clip here throw it in this looks like a good clip here too and we'll throw that in um, what I should have done there actually is do the color correction first but um, you know do the color correction first before you start picking your clips but now you're gonna want to add some excuse me add some color co correction so just double click on the video go over to video and then I usually go back and have the video start playing a little bit and then you can I usually bump the brightness up a little bit contrast up a little more and saturation up just a little bit more than that and you can see it already looks quite a bit better than it did um, every now and then I'm feeling lazy I'll just hit auto too and it'll make it look look a little bit better um, too so you see there's the original and even audio makes it auto makes it just look just a ton better so now that we're good with that, hit done. Um, go back in. You're going to want to turn the audio of your gameplay, especially if you're playing Modern Warfare 3, down to about 13% so you can actually hear your voice over it. Otherwise, the the audio just, just drowns out everything. The audio, the gunshots um, in the gameplay just completely drown out your voice. So pull that down to about 13%. And uh, now you're pretty much ready to roll. Um, if you want to add, you can certainly go ahead and add watermarks into the top corner of your videos if you need to. Um, that's pretty easy. You just go into photos, open it up, and drag it and drop it on the timeline pretty much like you did with the video clips. But uh, if anyone has any trouble figuring that out, just let me know. I can certainly f help you figure that out. Um, we're going to pull the audio of this down just a little bit too. And we're good to go. Um, I actually record most of my commentaries in iMovie right now just because it's so quick and easy to use it exports really fast too uh, this you know six seven minute gameplay will be exported in about nine to ten minutes on a MacBook Air which is not known for its processing power so it definitely uh, you know one of the advantages of the Mac using iMovie that I've noticed is it it just renders videos a lot faster than my uh, PC did which actually had a better processor uh, than this so Anyways, now that we're ready to record, you simply go up to uh, hit this record button right here. Make sure you have the correct microphone. It usually defaults to the built-in microphone on the side of your computer. Uh, and then you hit Command and A, which will select all the clips. And just click right there at the beginning. Gives you a little countdown, and you're recording. You, what's up, my YouTube friends? Suburban Legend here, bringing you guys a fake commentary, because I'm already recording a commentary to the commentary oh my god it's like commentary inception <laughs> anyways yeah hit spacebar when you're done if you like what you recorded uh, if you mess up hit escape and it'll start over again from the beginning now we're pretty much ready to go um, all you gotta do now go up to share export movie I usually leave it at just right here on HD 720p my first project 3 I don't know why and we'll export it. So this shouldn't take too long. It has to think for a minute here. And that'll export right to my uh, desktop or wherever you want it to export to. And then all you do is select that video, upload it to YouTube, and you're in business. So anyways, let me guys or let me know if you guys enjoyed this uh, little how-to video tutorial on using uh, you know editing on a Mac computer. Um, I'm gonna work on a I or excuse me a Final Cut Pro 10 video soon in the future here. Show you guys how to commentate on that, and uh, definitely just leave me any questions in the comments sections if you have any. Um, it usually renders faster than this, but I'm recording at the same time, so it's a little like what the hell's going on right now, bro? <laughs> but yeah, leave me any questions in the comments section. And uh, if this video helped you out at all, hit the like button or feel free to subscribe to my channel for some uh, gameplay commentaries. Um, Alright, this has been Suburban Legends, signing out. Peace.